All right, fellas. You know what it is this weekend. It's fight weekend. And to my right, he's a freestyle wrestling champion. And I'm going to give you my predictions. Hell, they might not be right, and you'll probably lose some money, but I'm still giving you my predictions. Let's go. Okay, first up, Ian Gary versus Vicente Luque. Right, now we know everyone's saying Ian Gary's the future, per his moniker. Future! And Luque, well, he's been in some bloody wars. Our landing very close. But, um, yeah, this one's pretty hard to pick, to be honest. Like, we all know how Irishmen's are, like, when it comes to their fighting skills. And hey, what are those guys doing? Ah, those are the McMurphy brothers. They've been circling that same spot for 50 years, just daring each other to throw the first punch. Just you try it. Oh, I'll try it. Just you try it. You'll feel it when I try it. I'd like to see you have at it. Would you now? But then again, we also know how these Brazilians are when it comes to confrontation. Just stand up. No, 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 no. Please stop. I can't let you get close. Can you hear my? Stop. So, I know I've got to put my bets down, and I'm guessing that it's probably going to be Ian Gary. I don't think I'd go as far as to say finish, so I'd say it might be by decision. But given it's only three rounds, where well, we're going to say it's Ian. Now, next up, Old Yeller himself, the man. The man who would literally rip me out of my chair and introduce himself himself. That's the type of dude he is. Tony Ferguson. I'm a fucking turtle. Ninja turtle. So which one's your favorite? He's that type of guy. He's that type of guy. Up against, well, I don't think he needs much introduction. Paddy the Batty Pimblet. And I think we all want him to be versing this guy, but unfortunately he's not. He's not in that weight class, so stop talking about it. I'm sanitizer, boy! Fuck you! Maybe one day we can see him versus hand sanitizer, boy. But anyway, I'm going to say, unfortunately, with the run that Tony's been on lately, I don't see him getting this victory. Probably going to a decision Paddy's way. But not something I'd count as a sure win, you know what I mean? So... Anyway, now we got Rock, Rock, uh, Shavkat, Shavkat, alright, we got Shavkat versus the nicest motherfucker in this game, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Now honestly, <clears throat> if I'm talking right now, I want this to be his fairy tale, I want this to be Stephen Boy, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson's fairy tale ending, I want him to come out and finish Shavkat with some crazy strike, ideally in the first or the beginning of the second round, but we don't live in a fairy tale, brother. Life isn't a movie, so if I'm going by what is the safe bet for me, we're gonna go Rock Manov. He's he's probably gonna take it. I'm sorry, guys. Just being straight up. Now, on to the co-main event. We got Pantoja versus Rival. Rival. Whatever you want to say it. I'm, I'm not no fucking and specialist at announcing, all right? You lying? Yeah. <laughs> now, these guys have versed before, and it, I, I think it went something like this, if I can get the clip. Pantoja's starting to get under the neck here. Oh, it's getting tight. Oh, oh yes, Pantoja's got it under the neck here. Oh, this is tight. So put him to sleep here, Paul Felder. There's Got the tap! Pantoja took the victory last time. I believe it was by submission. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I probably will have inserted the clip, so that doesn't matter. But yeah, Pantoja won last time, and Ravel's the bigger dude. I know he's a longer dude than Pantoja, but honestly, when it comes to people that have got people's number, like when you beat someone once, it seems like in this game, it gives you the advantage. So I'm going to say Pantoja probably finishes him again. 100%. Royville could surprise us like, and end up doing really well on the feet because he's a longer dude, but remains to be seen. So, Pantoja. Now, the main event. The big one of the evening, fellas. The one that I think everybody will be tuning in for, whether you're on the, you know, if you're in America, 
England, Australia, Timbuktu, Madagascar, South Africa. One eternity later. Bro, you fucking name it. Everyone will be watching it. So, here's the way I see it going. We have seen Leon be an expert anti-wrestler. In his last two fights with Usman, well, not his last two, we'll say the last round of the first fight and all, all throughout the last fight, he showed he has that expert anti-wrestling when it comes to high-level wrestlers. And that being said, the last fight we saw Colby in was versus Masvidal. And um, this happened. That's nice. Now that being said, Colby is a pressure fighter. He keeps it going for a long time. He makes sure that he's backing you up so you can't get that stuff off. So, I don't think Leon will be exactly throwing those leg kicks at the same, I mean, those head kicks at the same, you know, frequency. But that all depends on if Colby's pushing the pace. Because if Leon starts pushing the pace and anti-wrestling and keeping himself on the feet and moving, this could go either way. But, from what I'm seeing, and from what I'm believing, the person with the best tools to walk away with a victory is probably Leon. He has showed that he has a lot of growth as a mixed martial artist. And so, without me putting any more jokes in this thing, I'm putting my money on Leon. But I wouldn't be surprised if Colby takes the belt. We've come to an end of a prediction video. Let's do it. Tell me if I got it right. If I make you some money, bro, just fucking hit me up my PayPal. As always. Like, comment, subscribe. Cheers, boys. Stay legendary.